the sun the moon and the earth class 7 a very warm welcome to my students of class 7 well my children the sun warms our planet and with the moon creates the tides the moon orbits the earth and in turn the earth orbits the sun we see the universe from a platform that is both rotating on its axis well an eclipse is an astronomical event that occurs when an astronomical object is temporarily hidden by passing into the shadow of a body or by having another body pass between it and the viewer so let us begin our class learning about eclipses take a book and a pen or a pencil to make a note of what you are going to learn and children never underestimate any question because with a questioning mind you will be able to explore a lot of things in this world children look at the pictures on the screen on your left and on the right let us observe these pictures so you see the first picture you see a sun there and then you see the earth over there right now keep in mind the earth is not like what we imagine straight 90 degree up perpendicular no the earth is rotating on its axis so my dear children the axis is not straight perpendicular it is tilted it is tilted to 23.5 degrees okay and again to remind you that we have different seasons in a year you have summer you have monsoon you have autumn there is uh, winter there is spring the reason the reason behind having different season is only because the earth is tilted on the axis which is 23 and a half degree now you see there are two planes p l a n e s i'm referring to plane p l a n e s there are two planes okay one is that of the orbit earth you see that disk over there okay and the other is that of the orbit moon so you see that disk over there how they are intersecting how is their plane see the orbital plane of a revolving body is the geometric plane geometry i'm referring to geometry the geometric plane in which it orbit lies if you want to know what is a geometric plane you can go on google and uh, see for the pictures what are geometric planes so you can see that so you can see there are two disk like structure uh, that is the plane of the earth and the plane of the moon so you are getting to see that image and try to imagine what it would be in reality okay there are two different planes now let us look at the picture on the left hand side uh, sorry on the right hand side um the moon orbits around the earth right and uh, look at the orbit of the moon you see it's not uh, uh, like how it is on the earth which is different the orbit of the moon is uh, tilted at 5 uh, degrees so you see the how the moon goes up and down and up again you see that orbit so the orbital part of the earth and that of the moon are not the same plane they are two different planes that i was trying to tell you if you see that the first picture you can see the two different plane the moon's uh, revolutionary orbit makes an angle of about 5 uh, degree with that of the earth as a result the moon intersects the plane of the earth's orbit twice during one revolution let us uh, observe this picture right now uh, you see the sunlight uh, coming on uh, to the earth and uh, when the moon is on the a side of the view uh, so the view from the earth is of a no moon and that is at a zero degree i meant there is a degree mentioned over the zero and when the moon travels and come to the uh, other side the view of the earth is a full moon which is of 180 degree like for example if you have a protractor and you keep your pencil from 0 degree and take your pencil along the 
uh, edge of your protractor you will come to the other side which is 180 degrees so it's moving from a zero degree to a 180 degree so on each new moon day that means from the earth we cannot see the moon on each new moon day the lines joining the earth and the sun and the moon make an angle of zero degree whereas on each full moon day okay this angle is now of 180 degrees so even so the sun the earth and the moon may not be in one straight line in the same plane on every new moon or every full moon day hence that is the reason why eclipses do not occur on every new moon day or every full moon day so you see uh, the picture with the earth here uh, there are two pictures one the earth and the moon be below and the earth and the moon above so you see the sun the moon and the earth uh, all in one line however sometimes on a new moon day or a full moon day the three uh, fall in one line and uh, one in the same plane so eclipses occur on such occasions where all of them are in the three line the same line and also on the same plane so eclipses may be solar or it can be lunar have you seen um, anyone play with their shadow or have you ever played uh, with your shadow on the ground uh, try to remember where did that shadow fall but it was a nice time uh, playing with the shadow isn't it so if the moon is uh, in uh, between the sun and the earth i repeat if the moon is in between the sun and the earth the shadow of the moon falls on the earth mm -hmm. at such uh, a time uh, these three celestial objects i'm referring to three celestial objects that is your sun moon and earth are on the same plane and fall on one line hence uh, the place on the earth where the moon's shadow falls experiences a solar eclipse mm -hmm. students there are two types of shadow one the central position of the shadow is darker it is more dense it's more darker and the periphery is light periphery means the outer limit or the edge of an area or an object so i repeat the central position of the shadow is darker and the periphery is light the area uh, in the dark shadow on the earth the sun becomes completely invisible you just cannot see it this condition is known as total solar eclipse however during the same period at the places where the shadow is lighter the sun disk appears partially covered this condition is described as partial solar eclipse and uh, it is in very limited region of the earth one can see total solar eclipse sometimes the moon is in apogee position this means it is at its farthest from the earth remember the first picture we saw about the orbit of the moon so the moon's orbit is not a circular one it is in an oval shape elliptical one so when i say when the moon is in apogee position it is a little far away from the earth as a result the deep shadow of the moon is uh, cast in space uh, space is what it is an uh, it is emptiness between the stars and the planet which is beyond that that is space so i was saying the deep shadow of the moon's uh, of the moon is cast in space and does not reach the earth so from a very small region of the earth only an illuminated edge of the sun disk is seen in the form of a ring like the ring that you put in the finger something like that so this is called annular eclipse and uh, let me tell you children that annular eclipse is a rare phenomenon it is not uh, does not take place all the time it's very rare a lunar eclipse occurs when the moon enters the shadow of the earth while revolving around it at this time it is necessary that the earth is in between the sun and the moon and all three of them are in the same plane on a full moon day the moon's path of revolution passes through the thick shadow of the earth 
if the moon is totally hidden within the shadow of the earth we see a total lunar eclipse and if only a part of the moon is in shadow we see a partial lunar eclipse so let us learn the characteristics or the features of solar eclipse the first thing is that a solar eclipse occurs on a new moon day uh, but not on every new moon day if and only if the sun the moon and the earth are on the same plane and fall on the same line the solar eclipse occur the maximum duration of a total solar eclipse is 7 minutes and 20 seconds that is 440 seconds and which is quite a number characteristic of lunar eclipse a lunar eclipse occurs on a full moon day but not on every full moon day on a lunar eclipse occurs if and only if the sun the moon and the earth are on the same plane and fall in one line and the maximum duration of a total lunar eclipse is 107 minutes eclipse and astronomical event so the eclipse is just an event an astronomical event you know what is an event right like how you have some event taking place so this is an astronomical event there is nothing uh, inauspicious or superstitious uh, about these events and uh, there is a lot of curiosity about eclipses uh, because it is not a regular occurrence we don't see eclipses every day so for scientists working in the field of astronomy astronomy is where people who study about the sun and the moon and you know what is happening in the universe so uh, for scientists working in the field of astronomy eclipses and uh, particularly total or annular solar eclipse uh, present uh, them a great opportunity to study so scientists from all over the world make it a point to visit the location where such events are uh, going to take place so they carry out a lot of uh, intense studies a lot of elaborate studies of eclipse condition so basically it is uh, just an uh, astronomical event and we should not uh, uh, associate it to something which is inauspicious inauspicious or uh, uh, something that has got to do with superstitions don't relate it to it it is an event happening in uh, in up there in the universe and it's an astronomical event now uh, this is important children while observing a solar eclipse it is necessary to view the sun disk through dark glasses or special goggles made for that purpose otherwise that intense light of the sun can be very harmful to the naked eyes so ensure if uh, if the place that we are in and that region is going to uh, get a chance to view a solar eclipse Uh, please do so view it with the help of some uh, glasses or special goggles now during uh, the period of a solar eclipse a large number of birds and animals get confused because uh, they were not expecting to become night so soon so because it's an untimely darkness that sets in as uh, this is the event that does not suit their biological clock their response to the event is also very unusual like eclipses some other specific conditions occur with reference to the sun or the moon they are called occultation and transit respectively occultation occurs with reference to the moon whereas transit is associated with the sun so occultation is a typical event occurring in space or the reason behind is because the moon is revolving around the earth and while doing so revolving around the earth it obscures or it hides a star or a planet and that uh, celestial body appears to hide behind the moon and this is called uh, occultation the total solar eclipse is actually a kind of occultation Uh, during this the sun disk gets hidden completely because of the moon now students if an inner planet like mercury 
or venus comes in between the line of the earth and the sun a transit occurs so at this time a small dot appears to move across the sun disk and uh, transit is a type of uh, a solar eclipse so my dear students we've uh, uh, almost come to the end of this lesson and um, it was so nice to know so much about the sun the moon and the earth i would uh, request you to read read this lesson if you come across any questions make a note of it and uh, keep exploring uh, things keep reading and i'm sure this will widen your thinking and understanding and the different perspective of uh, the world so students um, be safe and uh, continue studying and uh, god bless you all abundantly